last week my stand-in. Yeah. Was here. Mm-hmm. She's in the lobby and she startled me when God, I walked in. God, she was in. fucking perfect. Yeah. yeah. Is that she my had, doppelganger? She had all your best features and none of the, you know, baggage. Words, words, yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> this episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Watch Gang. Everybody has their own style and preference personally. I'm a big fan of sporty watches, and I like steel. So I like the rubber bands and the steel bands and mix up the colors. And the cool thing about Watch Gang is that they send you all different types. You can mix it up. You can have a whole collection built so that if you want something, you know, like sporty, maybe with a color that goes with what you're wearing, they'll send it to you. If you're more of a classic guy, you like leather straps, let them know. They'll send you a whole collection just like that. Watch Gang is the world's largest watch club and is revolutionizing the way we buy and discover watches. Watch Gang allows casual watch enthusiasts and the watch obsessed alike to build your watch collection. Watch members, excuse me, Watch Gang members also get the chance to win a Rolex every Friday and a Tag Cure every Tuesday. They've already given away over 500. Go to watchgang.com slash YMH and get started now. Use code YMH for 20% off your first purchase. That's watchgang.com slash YMH. Code is YMH for 20% off. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs with one-seventh the caffeine as a cup of coffee. You get energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash of coffee. We all know I I love to get my energy, but I, I don't always like drinking coffee. It's so acidic and it makes me nervous, but Mudwater is fantastic. It's, uh, it's coffee alternative with a purpose it's got everything in it has a purpose they have cacao cacao and chai for mood and a micro dose of caffeine lion's mane for alertness cordyceps to help support physical performance chaga and reishi to support your immune system turmeric for soreness it is just fantastic and it tastes great uh please visit mudwater.com slash ymh that's m-u-d-w-t-r dot com slash ymh to support the show and use code ymh at checkout for five dollars off all right may 5th of course we're doing the podcast live at the west palm beach improv with the great duncan trussell it's going to be an electric show in front of you guys a live audience then in june i continue my shows in espanol so i'll be at the ontario improv june 25th and 26th I'll be in Brea on the 27th. That's also a Spanish show. And I just added shows in Greensboro, North Carolina, July 8, 9, and 10. And hopefully have more dates soon. They're all at tomsgirl.com slash tour. All right, chomos. I added a show in Phoenix, Fartnix, Arizona, April 23rd and 24th. And then one night only in Breast Balls Beach, Florida, May 6th, June 3rd through 6th. I am in Chomaha, Nebraska. Shark Lake Titties, I added a show as well, June 11th and 12th. And then San Antonio Tejas, July, let's see, what is it? I can't read it. July 15th through 17th, Liberty Township, Ohio in July as well. Then I go to Columbus, Oklahoma City, Orlando, Indianapolis, Denver, Colorado, Raleigh, North Carolina, all at ChristinaPOnline.com. Morning, my queens above 18. Good A lot of you are asking about the King Challenge. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, get up and start the day. Come on. Come on. Put the feet on the ground. Get you a nice hot breakfast. Very lovely. Take that cover and be a shower. Take that cover and pull it off yourself. Take that cover and be a shower. Get up and start the day. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, don't do this challenge. I trust you guys won't. Become 18, you can. You can do anything. King. On the front. King. 
on the back. You know the king likes the no bra look. And give me a dance. Rings above 18. Rings above 18. Rings above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, what we can do is have fun with this. Take an old white t-shirt. King on the front. King on the back. The king loves you, the king loves you, the king loves you, the king loves you. And do a video. Very lovely. Have fun with it. Rings above 18. Rings above 18. Rings above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, enjoy. I love you all. Let's make some videos. I want to see them. I want to laugh. And come. King. On the front. King. On the back. King. On the front. King. On the back. Oh, man. That's a mood. <laughs> How does it make you feel? Like a king. <laughs> It's been a good mood. Me too. That's uh, Hen Dog with Queens Above 18 by, of course, the, I mean, featuring, of course, the great king. Um, I like that he says y you have to wait until you're 18. Yeah, as and then if you to can do whatever you want. And to imply that there are so many minors just waiting <laughs> to take that challenge. I'm only 17. I no. can't wait to turn 18. Oh, well, you're going to have to wait, and I'm not going to watch it until it's confirmed. I want to see a photo of your driver's license. That was he likes great. to laugh. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, show me your boobs. I like a good laugh and dance. That's how most guys react when they see titties. Yeah, they're just like, ah, <laughs> look at your big stupid tits. Yeah. I know that's not true because when I was Tina and I had big fakers on, boy, oh boy, this the energy changed in this place. It did, huh? Yeah. And also, hey, last week my stand-in. Yeah. Was <laughs> Mm -hmm. She's in the lobby and she startled me when God, I walked in. God, she was in. fucking perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, I looked at her. I took a double take. I go, is that is that me? Is that she my had, doppelganger? She had all your best features and none of the, you know, baggage. Words, words, yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, happy 600 episodes. Tom. Happy 600 episodes. Holy shit. 600 episodes. Thank you, everybody that has been with us for the long haul. This, uh, this is a long time, man. 600 episodes. I know. Jesus Christ. So 600. I know. I know. Well, we celebrated. Well, we'll tell them about how later, but <laughs> Okay. Just yeah. put it this way, I wrote a song about it. Yeah. My name is Tom, Tom, Tom. I like to come, come, come all over my wife, wife, wife and on her bum, bum, bum. We like it. It's catchy. <laughs> Maybe you and the king can write a song together. <laughs> Catchy. Wait, what does he say about his his merch? He goes, it's different. Different. It's a little different. He said, "Why is the K backwards?" He goes, "Different." <laughs> what? <laughs> I slept good. <laughs> what? Wait, do your role play. Show me He's how you like, would do it. Good morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> I slept good. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. I mean, but think about it. It was pretty good acting. I mean, that was fucking that you you can't teach that. No. They could show that. They would show <laughs> that in an acting class because most yeah. people can't do it that way. I mean, he was literally in his mind reacting to a question being asked that you thought you you met, you didn't hear the person who was in the room. You're like, did I turn the volume up? I know. Did somebody ask something? I know. That's good acting. I know. Do you think he studied formally? No. I, I think he's just wow. gifted like that. Wow. Yeah, I was like Time watching. I wake it. up. I got the coffee going. Showers running. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was thinking, is this Al Pacino? <laughs> uh, yeah. Is this Robert De Niro? Al would watch that and be like, God damn, that guy's good. Yep. Yeah. And you know what's really neat too is he knows how his body looks on camera. He knows how to cheat the angles. Yeah. You, know? you want to open the show? Yeah. Okay. Let's I'm just excited to be back. Let's open the show. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa, I'm a double denim man. I wear double denim as much as I can. Denim jacket and <laughs> denim pants. I'd wear denim shoes. 
shoes <laughs> If I just had the chance Oh, but the girls They never want to dance Oh, they don't want to be seen With a double denim man Fucking awesome This shit is big time Who is Randy? Who's the new don't star? Don't bring anyone loving to this Your mama in the fucking stand Welcome Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah, Double Denim Man. Double Denim Man. Yeah. He's a true YMH fan. Huge fan. And also, I got to say, I um, I I dig it. I dig I like the outfit. It. I dig the song. I like know? the four VCR stacked on each other at the bottom. <laughs> I'm a double denim man. Yeah. I like it. He's right, though. A lot of ladies don't appreciate the Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, and they should. They should. It shows that he can match. And oh, I like yeah. his shirtless look. The, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And he's that passionate. That is a cool look. Mm -hmm. And as a musician myself, I appreciate his uh, talents. Yes. You know, my rap song is now officially out. It is pretty crazy that you have a rap <laughs> song with Krayshawn. With Krayshawn. Um, I It's out right now. You can get it everywhere. Songs are sold. She's rad and you're rad. She's amazing. And the mom it's song. called The Mom Song. And there's there's a remix too. There's two versions. There's a remix? I didn't even know that. I think Young Skirt did it. Okay. <laughs> Rave I, I reviews. Didn't know, I didn't know you were knee deep in the game like I that. I am. You know, am I, do I call it a rap song? I, feel I like, would just, nah. How do you say it? Just I got a track out. I, I got, got a record out. I got a hot track out. Yeah. But I don't have a whole record. I just have. No, a, no. That's what individual songs are called, the records. Shut up. Yeah. When did that happen? About 30 years ago. Oh. I got a record out, y'all. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, like the artists don't say, I have a song. They say, we made a record. We made a record, yeah. Cray Sean and I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My hero. I can't believe it. I feel like I can die happy now. Yeah. That and last night, something special happened to me too. I feel when, like you, when you got back from Des Moines. Des Moines. Des, Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah. How did they get that beautiful French name? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't see much, much French in What's the history of no. Des, Des Moines? You're gonna ask him to. No, find I'm just out. curious because it, I mean, it, there's got to be there obviously has to be a reason. some French, right? It was incorporated as Fort Des Moines, which was shortened to Des Moines. Yeah, um, French name. Oh, after the Des Moines River, which was likely was adapted from the early French name Riviera des Moines, des Moines. meaning River of the Monks. Yeah. There you go. Again, I saw no French influence. Well, that was super fast. Good job, Nadav. Yeah, I'm. So I think it was the other Nadav that did it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job. Here's what I did notice in Des Moines, and I thought it was really funny and silly. Mm -hmm. They have like a 7-Eleven, but it's not called a 7-Eleven. It's Let's called go. the come and go. The come and go? K-U-M and go. Well, yeah, if you wrote C-U-M. Right, that's because they you'd had- You'd have to be 18 to go in, <laughs> I think, you know. <laughs> Right, like they had an awareness that it that can't. That is absurd. Right. Yeah. You know that the, they were like, well, we can't call it the C-U-M and go. Let's pick up some smokes that come and go. Jesus. What right. happened when you got back? Well, hold on. So <laughs> there's the come and go, and then they have a spinoff called the get and go. The G-I-T and go. Get and go? The get and go. And it's also in Des Moines? It's still in it's Des Moines, yeah. Get and go and the come and go. What the fuck? I know. I Man, I like, feel like that's a dirty little secret that no one knows about. <laughs> I've exposed them now. Oh, now they're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, okay, so I came home and listen, it was a two plane day. Yeah. I woke up at pretty early. I had show the night before. I'm filthy. I've yeah. been sitting in other people's yuck on an air two airplanes. My ass is swampy. When I get home, 
First thing I do is I shit and I shower immediately. Mm -hmm. You were so fired up. Yeah. Now here's why. I usually, I have you on a 72 hour milking schedule. I neglected to milk my bear before I went on my journey. That's on me. That's my bad. So when I came back, it was like an overdue invoice was on my desk. And you were like, it's, it's overdue, lady. <laughs> it's past due. Like collections was coming for uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. And I came in. Yeah. And the kids said hello to me. And it was like, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm like, are you fucking serious? And like, I was, I had PT in like 10 minutes. Well, you needed your DT before you could get your PT. Yeah. So I go, okay, but I have to shit. I still have to shit. I didn't shit that day yet. It was two in the afternoon. I've been up all day flying. I took yeah. a quick hurry dump. It was disgusting. And I go, I'm, I'm so gross right now. Yeah. And you're like, I don't care. And you forced yourself on me. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a little kinky. I'll, we can just say that it was a little kinky. It was, it was kinky. And then. Gosh, I don't, I mean, uh, oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, yeah. that's going to be good. <laughs> and did I deliver or not? Because I was on Rogan last week talking about how much I come. <laughs> 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 and I got tagged in a bunch of like memes and stuff. Of coming. And then I wanted to take a photo and be like, see, <laughs> show people. Yeah, I will say it was an extraordinary amount <laughs> of cum. Like that YMH sign yeah. could have been painted in your cum. <laughs> I think that is your cum. <sighs> yeah. It was so much. It was so much. Like you could see how that invoice had built up, right? Yeah. It was like collections were like, we're coming to the house. <laughs> we're not paying this bill. Yeah. It was so much. I don't think I could have done PT. I had like rage in me. I mean, yeah. I, I would have been like, all right, I'll, you know, I'll be back in a minute. You were so fired up. Now, yeah. why couldn't you empty your chambers? I could have, but then I knew you were coming home. So I was like, why not give her a gift? You know, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as she gets here. Because I thought about it. I was like, oh, I should just crank it out. Yeah, then why I was didn't like, you just take care of yourself? Then you're like, oh, I landed. I was like, mm, maybe I'll save it for yeah. her, you know? But why hadn't you cranked one out? I was gone for three days. I don't know. David. Sometimes, I mean, you were gone. Okay, well, I was exhausted because I I drove every day in Texas when I was doing the Spanish show. So I drove, you know, uh, San Antonio to Houston, Houston to Dallas, Dallas to Austin, like kind of worn out. Like you know, what so I mean? you, you didn't you weren't jerking off and driving is what you're saying. That's right. Right. I had people in the car. Yeah. So <laughs> what if you were like, I, guys, hey I'm guys, I'm this is just something I do when I drive. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Uh, no, and then I had the, um, <laughs> then I had the super early flight to come back. Okay, so, so that day, day I'm just wiped. Saturday oh, we, we overlapped. And right, we're traveling. So yeah. Saturday at morning, I mean, you know, that whole day I was wiped, and then I crashed that night at like, I don't know what time it was. You know, what I mean, like eight o'clock, and I was so tired. So I could have, um, you know, I don't know. But dude, don't you feel like? Do you ever crank them out before you go to sleep so that you can? Sometimes, sleep? sometimes, yeah. yeah. But you were so tired. I was so tired that it wasn't like necessary. Or like, I was, I even, even in the hotel, I figure in Austin, like that would have been such a romantic, nice setting. You're at the nice hotel. <laughs> romantic, you, well, alone. Know, like, oh, Tom, how are you? <laughs> Looking in the mirror. Mm. You know what I mean? Ooh. It's clean. It's inviting. No one's gonna scream at you. No kids yeah. are gonna run in. As I just look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, don't be stingy. <laughs> Give it to myself. Do you think people do that? Look in the mirror when they masturbate? Some people I'm sure do. I don't. That's I know crazy. this is not an appetizing thing to look at for me. Neither. Same. Mm -mm. Do you, but do you think that's a thing? Like there's people. A hundred percent. That are course. like, I love. If you can picture it, <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. Do you guys watch yourself ever? I, I mean, I try not to. Uh, I've caught a glimpse. <laughs> I, I don't particularly yes. enjoy it, but yeah. yeah. Right. I'm saying like. I like to watch. Enjoy it. I like to watch what happens, but I don't like to look at myself. Like, As you're doing, like making eye contact with yourself. No, 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 no. That's what I'm talking about. No. Like what sicko is like. I'm sure people, super narcissists, <laughs> that are just like, I'm hot. <laughs> like jerking off to themselves. Yeah, sure. like Christian Bale and. Um, yeah, that's a perfect person. American psycho. Yeah, a narcissist, psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I look yeah. so good right now. Yeah. W by the way, he does. He did. Yeah. I'd watch Christian Bale jerk off in American <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> I'd be like, you look good, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that was, that I mean. That was crazy, Tom. I know. I mean, I looked, I really thought about grabbing my phone and being like, just let's just get a picture. Babe, no. no. <laughs> it's bad enough we're talking about it uh, now. Whatever. It's, well. it was a lot, like, 
how can I? Okay. Okay. If you've ever made homemade Cinnabons, like, you know, the kind that you get in the tube and then you crack them mm-hmm. and then it comes with like that container yeah. of, of the it's frosting. Yeah. Maybe like somebody dropped four of them. So much frosting. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it, my, yeah, on the right That's what there. we looked like yeah. yesterday after <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tom And then you go, Cinnabund. I'm just going to get right in the shower. Yeah. And I was like, well, let me untie <laughs> you first, you know? Oh, God. And then the worst part is you interrupted my shit. So then I had to go back and finish my dump. I'm telling you, it was a Ugh. level fucking five threat. Emergency. Really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A come emergency. It really was. How many husbands do you think exists like that but they don't say it to their spouses a lot and then there's probably another huge percentage that say it and the wife's like get the fuck out of here you know like i don't care that was me i was like no i know but i was like you know you want to you want to live yeah how do you like your life (laughs) (laughs) you like your house jenny huh one of those because i i but here's the thing in real talk i'm so appreciative that you you feel like you can come to me for your cum needs yeah. and I can be your cum dog. Like that's, that's the job as a wife is to be your cum dog at the cum and go. I'm your cum and go. You are my cum and go. Cum and go. Yeah. Yeah. We should make t-shirts for me. Uh, come and go. Okay. I don't know if you want to, <laughs> I don't know who wants to walk around with. I'm a cum and go. Can I tell you though, as crazy as my mom was, she did tell me that about marriage. She's like, this is your job as a wife. The woman, m- you have sex with your husband. You have to have sex with your husband. Otherwise, he has sex with somebody else. Mm. And I was like, oh, that's, like, thank God my mom taught me that. Yeah. And she did teach me to cook, too. She was like, men like when you cook. You have to cook for I'll men. I'll tell you, it is a super bummer, too. I have friends that have the full spectrum of relationships with their wives, you know? Yeah. Like, And then, like, some that regularly just have a healthy sex life with their spouse thank and, god and, and i know which friends those are and then then i have the friends who are like yeah you know i get sex like a few times a year and i'm like what that's crazy. what are you talking about and they're like yeah it's just she doesn't want to and i'm like well why don't you kill her you know <laughs> <laughs> well there are times i don't want to i'm not well like, i'm not saying i'm not going to pretend like i'm all horned up after spending a day with our two kids like, i'm not saying that somebody jesus christ can, never can be like i don't want to. i'm saying when someone's like oh it's four times a year i'm like uh-uh. oh that's terrible but i do even when i don't want to what do i say to you uh this one's for you this one's for you yeah <laughs> yeah And I and go. And then you weep into the pillow. Ah! And I just <laughs> no, but then I go. What else do I make you do? Head scratches. Nah, what? you don't even give me head scratches. Which what? I'm gonna work on that with you. I want you to take a head scratchy class, a cuddle class. I want cuddles and scratches and affection, not just come and go. That's all you know is come and go. I make you get me a glass of wine. I say, oh yeah, yeah some yeah. wine, Cindy, because then I'll sh- that'll switch me into yes. mo- into out of mom mode. That's and into right. Like you go. Let me get mode. fucked up enough to lay you. Yeah. And then, and I don't care. You don't care. Don't care. Because it does put me. It puts me in a better place. Puts you in a better place. I get you a glass of wine. Put some music on. Yeah. Yeah. And then I then I'm like, oh, I knock okay, on now. the neighbor's window. I go watch this, and then they come out <laughs> and they watch. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. Brooklinen, we sleep in so many wonderful Brooklinen items. Right now, we sleep with a Brooklinen comforter, and I could not enjoy it more. I actually woke up at 2 in the morning a few days ago and went, oh, I just love this comforter. It's light but warm. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's just perfect. I love this company. And with their birthday sale happening this weekend, Brooklinen is offering site-wide savings on all things comfort for their biggest sale of the year. Brooklinen was founded by husband and wife duo Rich and Vicky, just like our jeans. They work together, two mommies, one jeans, to create beautiful luxury home essentials at prices that don't break the bank. Everything they have is fantastic. They've got bedding, towels, and loungewear. 
Get everything you need for a spring refresh during Brooklinen's biggest sale of the year. Shop the Brooklinen birthday sale starting this weekend. And if you're listening to this podcast after the sale ends, don't worry. You can still go to brooklinen.com and use promo code HOUSE to get $20 off any purchase of $100 or more. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code HOUSE to get $20 off any purchase of $100 or more. Brooklinen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Babbel. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I luckily came from a bilingual household, (laughs) so I had an advantage. But now, je m'appelle Tom, and I want a third language. So, thanks to Babbel, the number one selling language learning app, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language, whether you're whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons you'll actually see and use in the real world. So for me, getting into the French of it all, I want to go to Paris. I do want to do it again. And I want to speak some French to some real Frenchies. You know what I mean? They have 15-minute lessons to make it perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code MOM. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Use the code MOM for an extra three months free. Babbel, language for life. How disgusting do we look when we do it? Oh, oh, it can't be good. I I wouldn't want to see it. Ugh. There aren't many couples that look good banging, right? No. I mean, basically, it's like fitness couples. They're the ones who would look that's good. That's it. I mean, that's what porn stars are. They're basically <laughs> fitness models who are having sex, you know? <laughs> that's so true. And it's upsetting. To, I, I get upset seeing even a guy a little out of shape yeah, in a porn. Too. I'm like, get him the fuck out of here. Me too. Yeah. Like when they say MILF porn are like natural people, I'm like, why? I don't want to see people that look like me. I want to see exceptionally no. attractive, yeah, yeah. fit people. Really fit, yeah. A lot of trauma in their youth. Yeah. And they're making these... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I want to see hot bodies. Okay, which sure. okay, which category of P-O-R-N? Yeah. I'm still spelling it because we have kids. I, I Sorry, I don't know why I spelled it. But I'm, I thought our kids were in here for a minute. Okay, when you see which category of porn... Do you immediately like, ugh, like you can't even imagine clicking on? Like, I'll, I'll start you off with mine. MILF is like, I don't want to see somebody that looks like me or has kids in my porn. Yeah, I'm but you like, realize Ew. in porn, MILF means like she's 28, right? <laughs> like, she's not an actually retirement age. Yeah, they're, they're not actually old. I know, but, I, th- but in my head, because it's mom in the title, I'm like, I don't want anything to do with like my life. Hmm. MILF. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I mean, let's just go to a site here. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, butt stuff. I don't want to see anal stuff. Well, I don't if, mind seeing anal sex. I don't anal. want to see gaping. I don't. That like doesn't gaping. do it for me. Not interested. Not cool. Not, I don't or like not that. for me, I should say. Um, gaping is definitely not for me. Yeah, that's not. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. It looks more medical than. Yeah, see, when I see a dick and a butt, I'm like, no, dude. Mm. I don't want to see butt stuffs. I don't want to see squirts. When I see squirts, I click off. Do you like squirts? It's it's not uh, something I seek out. I mean, I don't want, I'm not like, oh, I got to go see some squirting right now. I won't click on squirts. Oh, I won't click on super old guy. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not interested. I'll watch in that. that. <laughs> You'll watch that? I've watched it, yeah. Jeez. It's not, but I don't seek it out. It's not like a, like, oh, this is going to be. Doesn't do it. I'm trying to see here. I don't like to see exceptionally heavy people, like when, like the whatever, big anything. I'm like, dude, no. no. no, no, no. Now, are you into specs appeal? Do you like the glasses thing? It's not, I don't know. It's not a thing. I'm looking at these right now. Well, the dot has them up here if you want to see. I know, see. but I can't, like, all I'm seeing are the images. I can't really see what the I don't like choking. Are. I don't like gagging. I don't want harming. This is like actual old women. Ugh. I don't like that at all. Nobody does. Like granny. They Ugh. call it mature, but like that's an old ass bitch. That's, that's an old ass hoe. Mature. Um, Jesus. Let's see. Uh, chubby. No thanks. <laughs> Cream pie. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. K. 
casting. I don't like too many storylines. Pregnant, like, I don't like. Oh, fuck that. No. No way. Anything with too much of a storyline, I don't want to see that either. Like, I don't need a story. I don't story care. Line. I'm not watching a movie. Yeah, the squirting thing is more like a, it's kind of like, what's it called? Like a spectacle? <laughs> oh, I know what you don't like. What? Small tits. Yeah, you can keep those. <laughs> um, Small tits are out. Cosplay, any nerds? Doing uh, cosplay that doesn't do anything for me. The gangbang thing, like I'm not. It, it's not. It doesn't really do anything. I mean, wow. I've seen them. I'm not. I mean, I've seen it, but I. I it's not something where I go like, oh, I want to rub one out. Let me watch a gangbang. Right. I don't, I don't really. It's not your fisting. Not into fisting. Definitely. I not. could do without that category entirely. Nope. Solo male, no thanks. I don't need to watch a guy JSD. I live with not. one that does that. British uh, is fun. I like British. Just a just porn in Spanish is good because I feel like it kind of knocks out two things I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, like I feel like an orgy is a spectacle. Yeah, like you go like I holy like that shit. One, yeah, but to me it's not as as you know why I can't. It's not masturbation. Like for me, it's like watching a fireworks show. It's too much. There's too much, and I don't know what to focus on. Like I'm like what? Oh oh, who's this? Oh, she's now he's fucking her too. Like it's just. It's too crazy. It's too much action. <laughs> it's a lot. And also, I don't like when they have orgy scenes in horrible places. I saw one. It was like a picnic scene, and the girls were all on the grass, and, and the dudes were on the grass. And I'm like, this can't feel good, because I can tell how uncomfortable that is for everybody. Yeah. What's 60 F FPs? What? Oh, 60 FPS? 60 frames per second. What does that mean? Um, it's a faster frame rate. I don't know why it would be good in porn, though. Yeah, is that... Is that... Higher quality. <laughs> oh, no thanks. Come shot compilation? I'll check it out. <gasps> Verified models. No way. Nothing animated. That animated shit? Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, as fuck. This is, a con <laughs> this, is a, this is one called Mom and Anal. <laughs> All right. What about smoking? That's kind of cool. Smoking. Mm. Ooh, this is a woman fisting another woman. I'm, no, I'm not into it. I don't like fisting at all. Pissing also doesn't do it for me. No. I'm pretty vanilla. Hey, tattooed women, Tom. That's me. That is you. All right. Well, yeah. We get it. Um, most of these are acceptable. <laughs> you know, not hard passes, but you had your hard passes. Fisting was a hard yeah, pass. Yeah, no, no, no. Anime, no. hard pass. Hard pass on those. Uh, the other one, the orgy thing, it's just that it's not that I'm like, oh, I can't. It's just that I don't feel aroused by it. It's just it's too much. It's, over, it's a lot overstimulation. Yeah. 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 Even like, I don't know. I just rather watch a couple. Right. You can really get into their the details of their lives. Like, did he take out the trash? Is she rewarding him for getting her car detailed? Do you think those kind of thoughts? Is he a good father and husband? Absolutely. That's, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, he, he, he earned this. This is good yeah. for him. <laughs> I bet he paid all the mortgage on time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did he mow the lawn? Oh, boy. Is that how you watch porn? Yeah. Did he <laughs> deserve Christ. this or not? Okay, I'm glad <laughs> we've never talked about this before. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't like those thoughts. I do like to see that they're enjoying themselves. I get really upset if I feel like they're you can, not enjoying it. You, I like, hate that. I don't care about the guy's expression, but... <laughs> on a woman's face it is so clear when <laughs> like they're doing it and you see like her go like like, you, <laughs> like a look in her eye where you're like oh she doesn't want to be doing this by the way total turn off though total turn i'd rather yeah, i know just Terrible. sell it sell that you want to be there because i don't like it's the same thing as like in real life the whole thrill of sex is that you're having sex with somebody that wants to have sex with you oh. and i want to watch somebody have sex with people like I want them to want to have sex. Like, yeah, yeah, I you know. know. Like yeah. it's so, it's so weird. When, not weird, but it's just like oh, when you see her like oh, fuck, I gotta I gotta pay this fucking car bill. Yeah, I gotta shoot this scene. Yeah, oh, I don't like it. Uh, or if, if I see that her vag is dry, I can tell. I'm hmm. like, oh, that looks like it hurts. You can tell. I can tell when a woman's jeans is dry. dry. I'm like, ooh, poor girl. She's just hmm. fucking forcing that thing in there. Yeah, I don't mind if she does this. Like. Uh, ow like that that works but i just don't want her to be like you know 
bored. Yeah, staring off. Bored. Like, what happened? And you know what I get hung up on, too, is bad hygiene. Like, if he goes into the stink and then back into the pink, I go nuts. I'm like, that's not, th- those are not the By rules. the way, speaking of hygiene and everything, you're a big Adidas fan, obviously. You rock Adidas all the time. Have you thought about getting their new um, tank top? I saw this. Can I tell you? Yeah. They are so woke with their campaign. So they have plus size models and now it's armpit hair. Ladies. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I hate obviously, it so much. The funny thing about this is that it's it's so deliberate where like they had to go like, yeah. hey, we chose you. You want you got the campaign. You're going to model for Adidas. Don't fucking shave your armpits, though, because we need to show yeah. consumers that we're woke. Yeah. We lift s- lift your arms up. It's not it's not like she could just have hair. And then if it happens to show. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, every girl who has armpit hair, they have to show it off. Right. Like Madonna's daughter Lola has armpit hair. Mm-hmm. And like every photo of her on Instagram, she's got her arms up to show you the armpit hair. Yeah. Like, and you, I and get you have it. to have a I lot of, it. you have to have like Lourdes. People, Lourdes. I know the women who have armpit hair have to have pride. Yeah. It's not just that they have it, it's that I, you know what? We all have hair. Yeah, I know we do, but you're gross. <laughs> yeah. See, like that one she just posted with her Ugh. mom. And, um, and yeah, it's like you know you know what you're doing. Look, if you're into that, you good know. for you. You know, to me, it. this is worse than a fucking fisting scene. <laughs> Arms up, let me show you. I don't shave. Ugh. Yeah, Adidas has been uh, they've been doing this, and I I'm always on their website, and I I don't like it. I yeah. don't want to see it. I want to see people that are fitter than me, better looking <laughs> than me, and who shave, and who shave, yeah. and who are who are co- women that are compliant with Western standards of I know, beauty. I, see, to I me, like that. To me, this is the equivalent of me being a fitness model. It's like, <laughs> it's fucking gross. You are on Adidas's website. Well, yeah, Adidas Go might be like, look. yeah, you, this guy is a model. He's a model too. No, I'm Everybody's not. a model. No, no, they're not. No, I'm not. Well, that, so there's a Sephora by our house and mm-hmm. they have a, the, this campaign app too where it's like, you know, everyone's beautiful and all the models in Sephora are not beautiful now. Mm-mm. And I'm like, dude, nobody fucking is like, I don't want to buy the makeup so I look regular. You buy the makeup because you buy the fantasy, the illusion that you're going to look better with right. makeup. Right. I want to buy that so I get in better shape and, you know, a man yeah, that's what they're selling. Me. They're selling you hope. Yeah. That's what you're buying. You buy hope. It's capitalism. Yeah. Yes. It's a false promise. Everybody fucking knows that. Right. I buy reality. I buy the the gear that I see like super yoked jack dudes wearing being like, "Oh, I that'll be me." That's yeah. what's going on in your brain. You'll be sexier. Yeah. The opposite sex will love you more. Yeah. Like this to me says like if I buy that Hey, I'm you want to be a pig? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be Wear a hairy this. pig. Yeah. Do you do you are you not gross enough? <laughs> And that seriously, Ugh. and I love Adidas. I'm this gonna is take my, this down. This I'm is my brand. Throw up, Gene. I wouldn't buy this I because know. I don't like the photo. Unconsciously, Adidas. If you're listening, on a, a subconscious level, yeah. I will go. No, thank you, because I don't want to look like this Harry Pitts. I don't want it. How yeah. hard is it? It's not fucking hard to shave your armpits. It's really. It takes let's, a second. Let's cleanse the palate. Okay, Ugh. something a little more, Ugh. like uh, like you know, God. chill and. It's Heartwarming. Ameri- this was yeah. America last yeah. time. I did. Oh, it's Korean. That's sundo boo. It's delicious. Oh my god. Food fight. Do we have any context for this? It's pretty rad. No. We don't know if like the server brought the wrong thing out or something. <laughs> I don't think so. That is an all-out brawl, man. And. Someone took a hot steam boiling pot of water and threw it. Chairs. Yeah. Food, fuck, and the person filming still eating. That's the best yeah. part of the whole thing. Did you see them being like, oh shit. You see Everybody the chopsticks go down? Like, mm, Jesus. You know Christ. what I love? No, not the hot pot. Yeah, look, look. Oh. oh look at this. I'm still eating. This is the only thing I know for sure is that it's it's two like there's two groups fighting right. This is this isn't like one or two people. This is yeah. It's almost like two families got in a fight. Does it say something? Um, I'm not sure if this is it. I'm finding a couple about fights at Korean restaurants, but I'll do some more <laughs> digging. Yeah. <laughs> do you think what somebody- is that? What does that top one say there? The the orange the Orange Town link. Yeah. 
two people stabbed during a large fight at Korean restaurant? This could be it. Let's just see if the, the footage plays on this. Um, meh, party room, okay. Wow. So this, that is wild. I mean, they're all wearing winter coats, and that's in Jersey, right? Holy shit, man. But to capture the video, you're right. I, I'm always amazed that people keep the camera rolling. Do you think the soup was was too spicy? Maybe that could have been it. And they're like, I don't want it that fucking orange, dude. I get diarrhea. Dude, or maybe like nothing worse than when uh, you order like Kalbi and they bring you bulgogi and you're like, oh. all right, let's just fucking start a fight. What are we you doing? Yeah. That must be why. Yeah. Do you think the kimchi wasn't uh, spicy enough? Nah, or yeah, or what like, didn't have like the no sour flavor. Or, yeah. I tell you right there, I know that sundobu in the front, there's like no orange in it. That means it's not it's no flavor yeah. at all. I mean, and these, the sides these are all really good hypotheses <laughs> for this. <laughs> Those sides are delicious. And that guy, he to he toppled over like a shabu shabu thing. I don't <laughs> know what's going on here. That was intense, man. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I'm glad you did. I don't like fights or people getting harmed. Like You'd you like do. this. I You'd like, like mental this. illness. You know, that's my. Cup, my cup of tea. You'd like this because this is this is silly. This is the Australian <laughs> Prime Minister uh, Scott Morrison just uh, talking about the uh, Health Minister named Hunt. Okay. <laughs> On the 19th of February, Minister Hunt uh, called the EU Health Minister <laughs> to advocate for release. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Minister Hunt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Minister Hunt. Minister Hunt. How much do you love that accent? It's great. The Aussie accent is so cool. Minister Hunt. Minister Hunt. Uh, the Aussies have a great accent. Yeah. 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 I like them as a people so much. I like I like them as a people, yeah. How do you do it? Do their accent. So when I did, did I tell you do, about, I told you this story, the right? Do the accent, mate. I got, uh, I forget how this <laughs> came remember. about, but I, they asked me to do a table read for uh, a part the lead part but just because people wanted to see the part read in front of, you know like the script myself a couple other people so i forget how i get contacted for it and they're paying me like a couple hundred dollars to read this and this is this is quite a while ago this is like close to 10 years ago so and they're like um can you do an australian accent and i was like yeah <laughs> so <laughs> Shit. so what i do is i go i rent Chopper, Chopper, Chopper. You know the movie with uh, Eric Eric Bana. Ginger. I think that's his name. Oh yeah, which is a great movie, and he has an amazing performance in it. I watched that movie like over and over, and oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, this. and I and I'm like recording parts of it, and I keep like saying the lines in on the script I'm reading to you know with his accent from the movie <laughs> in mind. Yeah, it's a great movie if you haven't yeah. seen Chopper, and. So then I go to the table read, and I'm like on page seven. I'm the lead. I'm like in every scene, reading this thing for these people. And at one point, <laughs> one of the producers just goes, "You don't have to do the accent." <gasps> and then I go, "It's no problem." And I realize that at this point, I'm basically like, I think I've switched from what I what was Australian, probably for like the first page, oh because God. it was so in my head from. So now I'm like, yeah, so what are you talking about? I'm like doing like a Brooklyn guy. And they're like, this, please stop. And I'm like, no, 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 it's no problem. I got it. <gasps> yeah. So you kept going? I kept going. I kept going. Okay, well, can we have some, can we have a taste of it? I yeah, mean, I don't remember the. Um, I mean, can you give us some dialogue? Like, yeah. here, Google the chopper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do it in Aust Australia, mate. But first Hi, of all, mate. Can we Chopper? hear some Australian? Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I want to hear some. So let's, let's hear some Australian first. Let's hear, let's hear. Eric Bana and Chopper. Yeah, are we? Can we? we can't play it though. No, uh, we I can't. don't think we can play that. Hmm. Well, can we play more? Is this clip longer? Can we hear Australian so that he can he can tune yeah, his need, instrument a to, little bit? I need to tune my instrument. <laughs> or let's do this. Let's do this. I got a pee. <laughs> I got a pee too. Let's take a pee break. Yeah. Pull it up anyway. Get it in my head. Oh, there we and go. Then we'll go back. Speaking in Australian All right? accent. Okay, we'll be right so back. So exciting, right? Right, mate. Right. Okay, mate. Well, do you, I don't want you to start talking so you don't lose it. We yeah. brought up a script for you, and right. Tom's going to play the lead character in this movie, and I'll do the other parts. As he's doing an Australian accent. Go ahead. Right. 
right? I'm going to show you a little manoeuvre my mother taught me when I was a junior high. Fucking, in my experience, it has a 98% success rate in getting a man's attention and when used appropriately, an 83 fucking rate of return on a dinner invitation. It's called the fucking bend and snap. Oh, look. There's something on the fucking floor that I need to pick up. You can't bend. And snap. Now you fucking try. You can't bend and snap. That's right, cunt. Good. And this time, put a little arch in your back and maybe get your fucking foot more solid. Wow. See, there you go. Wow. Tom Segura, everybody. And that I'll was keep so going. good. Hey, perfect. Like that? Good. But cock the knee. You know what I mean? More snap, a little less bend. Hey, come on, everybody. Give it a fucking try. And that's how I did the you scene. You did so good. Thanks a lot. Hey, yeah. that was really good. I'm really impressed with your Aussie yeah. accent. Thanks so much. Good day, mate. That I'm was really I'm good. I'm sure the reviews will all agree. <laughs> <laughs> Our Aussie listeners appreciated yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a little I scene from Legally Blonde. For those of you who didn't pick up the, the iconic. You fucking cunt. Yes. The iconic bend and snap scene. What's the bend and snap scene? You know, Paulette, she teaches her manicurist how to get a man's attention. You oh. pretend to drop something, and then you bend over, and then you snap up. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. Okay. You did really well. Thanks. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Oi, oi. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. They love it. They yeah. love that shit. Oh, yeah. You'll I get, love them. You just do that from the, the wings of the theater. You see, Ozzy, 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 and then... Fucking all at once, 3,000 people. <laughs> I love that. I wish we had yeah. that pride in America. Is oh, we it? do. It's white pride. White pride. <laughs> <laughs> do we have anything like that? Maybe a Garth USA. Brooks song? Oh, USA. USA. Yeah. USA. But it feels like someone's going to get hurt. <laughs> I know. It does. Yeah. <laughs> like when you start chanting USA, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't feel good. It feels like white, white you're like, pride. Yeah. Like, who are we going to fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> are we bombing someone today uh, yeah no. oh lord Oof. well i tell you that was real good tom thank Segura. you can i tell you i had a um are you gonna set up a clip or yeah no go ahead something? um i had a pajitsky effect of my own by did the way I, rob eiler did a fantastic job jesus he's so good he's so, do you better than me you said that like he's so Listen, much better than you. Different. Different. Put the K backwards because it's different. Wow. I, I can't believe this. Well, I can't say that he was great. No, you can say. Yeah, but was, I thought you were going to go like better than you. Well, I, I mean, you know. were great that day too. Don't take that. I mean, it's not like <laughs> you weren't good. You had the perfect attitude that day. <laughs> Let's just watch a clip. Okay. So do you remember the um, so the Russian wedding proposal? I do, yeah. We found another crazy marriage proposal. Okay. Because we were like, oh, only the Ruskies would do something that crazy. Yeah. You know? But check this shit out. Oh, God. insane <laughs> if you're listening cops pull up to a gas station and they have their guns drawn and they tell a guy get on the fucking ground and he lays face down and the woman is like i'm his wife she's you know i'm with him basically and it sounds like she's like i'll, I'll you know she stands in front of them like i'll get help him get she, they ask him if he has a weapon on him and then he reaches into his coat and he pulls out a ring to propose and then she starts bawling probably because of the shock to her system of what just happened but um yeah 
That's very memorable. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah. At all, I would be yeah. so. I'd be so upset with you if you did this to me. I was like, what? This was in Mobile, Alabama. Oh my. In uh, 2016. Yeah. Wow. Man. Okay. Well, different strokes. He so put a lot of thought into it. He did. And yeah. he'll he'll be able to show this video forever. Forever. Yeah. Mm. Family, friends, <laughs> holidays. You want to see some cool shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really. Uh, yeah. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Theragun. I am completely obsessed and in love with Theragun. I always liked it before, but now, now that I'm coming off of this injury, and I, whenever the sweet lady is willing to put the Theragun on my neck and my shoulders and my traps, rhomboids, I mean, you just melt. You cannot duplicate this deep, like, the deepness that this thing can go with a human hand or elbow. It's not happening. It's a whole other level, and I'm in love with it. Theragun is the handheld perc uh, percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power, and it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. It is outstanding. Absolutely love the way I feel with the Theragun. Try Theragun for 30 days, starting at only $199. Go to Theragun dot com slash mom right now and get your gen 4 theragun today that's theragun t-h-e-r-a-g-u-n dot com slash mom theragun dot com slash mom gum is something people chew as a way to relieve stress curb appetites and most importantly fresh and breath but many people don't realize that gum can also be a vital part of a healthy oral care routine that's right enter quip gum it was only a few short years ago that Quip reinvented the toothbrush for the modern age. They've done it again, this time with chewing gum. Well, they've launched a new gum that's actually good for your oral health and comes with a dispenser that'll remind you uh, of the one-click candy you loved as a kid. We have the Quip dispenser, the gum now in our house, and everybody loves it. So you have to try it. It's not a substitute for brushing and flossing, but this is a great support for your oral health. Pair it with a Quip electric toothbrush for adults and kids, refillable floss, and more great products. And if you go to getquip.com slash mom right now, you can get a free plastic dispenser with any refill plan. That's a free dispenser at getquip.com slash mom, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash mom. You can also find the Quip electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and more in the oral care aisle at your local Walmart. Quip, the good habits company. Wait, but I have a Pajitsky effect. I was going to What's your Pajitsky effect? First you said all, play a video, so I did it. I know, because I, I didn't like our exchange. But oh. uh, Rob Eiler's fantastic. I just wanted to say I really like him. Okay. Um, so, okay, I had this epiphany today. I've been doing the elliptical every day. And I've been wearing the same sneakers you bought me when I was pregnant with Ellis. So that's six years old. My sneakers are six years old. Mm -hmm. And I sweat in them every day. And I had the epiphany, I can buy myself a new pair of running shoes. <laughs> You've bought a hundred shoes since then. I know, but never utility, like actual running shoes. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't need to rebuy those. Those are like my work shoes, my working horseshoes. Yeah. They're not for fashion. But then right. today I was like. Oh, yeah, I can do it. I use them so much that I should, yeah. probably, I should probably replace these. Did you? Order some new ones? I did immediately, yeah. Yeah, good for you. Proud yeah. of you. Well, and also the second thought was, because you got those for me when I was pregnant, and I was like, oh, this is like our first child. Oh, right. Emotional, and they're so good. What kind are they? They're like those boat shoes, the wide the wide ones. Remember when I was super big? Yeah. With the wings on them? I don't remember. They're, uh, I don't know what the fuck they are, maybe Adidas? Okay. With the boats on the bottom. And I just love them, and I uh, ordered myself some new running shoes for the first time in six years. Well, if the model has hairy legs, I think you should get them. I think that <laughs> sounds pretty cool. Only, only if she's yeah severely overweight and Jesus uh, has armpit hair. Oh my God! So there you go. Well, good. That's a good Pajitsky effect. Yeah. They're very people are writing in about them all the time. Well, that that came up. Uh, Rob Eiler coined that term. Just remind me. Yeah. Reminded me of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can get you can get all the workout shoes you want. I know I deserve them because I use them so frequently. But I I just never it never occurred to me. 
I'm glad stupid. you're doing that. And I left my phone charger in the hotel. And I, I ordered you a new Already. one. Already, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to go without a phone charger. Now, are, do you think you'll be switching your clock to the right time anytime soon? No. Nah. Because it was daylight savings, what, was it a month ago? Something like that. And it, I still have to do the math on Tom's clock. It's been If a I put while. my phone on the clock, it'll automatically update to the right <laughs> time. I just, I haven't done it. So every time I look at it, I just go, oh yeah, add an hour. Me too. It's been a <laughs> while since daylight savings. I don't care. And it's not even exactly an hour. It's like an hour and 15 or yeah. something. So then I have I, to go. I don't look out. at it though. I don't look at it. I look at it. Yeah. And then I do the math. Just fix it for me. Fix it for you. Update but, it. But I got that big fucking mom box on. Take my the thing, box the off. The box. It's too hard. I can't. Once I take it off, I can't put it back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, pal. Okay, buddy. Just so you know, in the hotel. Yeah. I left my toothpicks everywhere my flossers all over the fucking floor dude and i would like drop shit and just not pick it up because i don't give a shit i don't fucking care i drop water bottles on the floor i just left them there how grosser are you how much grosser are you when you're in a hotel um i can be kind of gross i mean the room turns into a mess pretty quickly yeah um i drop at like you know (laughs) underwear like all of a sudden i'll be like oh i should like at least put these underwear in a pile you know (laughs) <laughs> like clothes I've been wearing. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm kind of gross in it. I'm so gross. Yeah. I'm better than I used to just jerk off like on the walls and stuff. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Where do you jerk off now? Into a towel. Into the hotel towel. Yeah. And then the cleaning lady gets to find that. No, I throw it out in the hallway. <laughs> so I figure someone will pick it up out there. <laughs> I eat my food in my bed. I order room service oh, and then yeah, I yeah. eat it in my bed. And then sometimes I'll drop juice from my food on my sheets and I'll still sleep in them. I, I had a care. really personable um, room service guy when I, when I was in Texas, <laughs> one of these places. Like I ordered late because we had got back and I never had dinner. So I just ordered, I ordered something healthy and then the, the guy showed up and he was like, how's it going today, brother? And I was like, good. <laughs> and he gave me elbows and he was like, yeah, life's treating you well. And I was like, yeah. He was, and I was like, how about you? He was like, you know, I'm just happy to be alive, blessed Aww. to be alive. And I was like, okay, all right. And he just had that super upbeat attitude. It was nice. And you jer- you threw your jerk-off towel at him? Yeah, I was like, you know what? Clean this. I go, uh, I got something for you. <laughs> and he was like, oh, and he put out his hand like, I guess you're going to give me a tip. And I go, I am. This isn't totally dry yet. And I put it in his <laughs> hand like that. You're like, still having a good day, asshole? And then he took it above his mouth and he went like, he, oh, stop. he rung the towel. <laughs> he was like. Uh, wait, mm. do your scoop and score. That's scoop and score is when they go. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, <laughs> mm, I got some up here. Mm. That's my favorite thing yeah. you do. You know what I did? So I went to a Walgreens in Zemois. Mm-hmm. And I think my the lady behind the register was a little. Cocked? Yeah. Okay, because listen. So I walk in. And I'm always like, I always greet people. I look them in the eye. I said, I said to her, I walked in. I go, "Hi, how's it going?" And she just stared back at me, dead eyed. Yeah. And I was like, "Hmm, that's that's a zombie. Like that's weird." Yeah. And then I got my items, my makeup, and everything. And then I went to the register, and I noticed I had to make a brown. So I I asked her. I said, "I go, I go. Do you do you have a bathroom?" She goes, "Yeah." Boop. Boop, keeps ringing up my items. Like, just, yeah, head down. I'm like, that's fucking weird, right? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, um, (laughs) I go, can I use it? And she goes, yep. I go, and then boop, boop, back down. And then I go, and then I was like, does it have like a code? Like a, no. She's like, no, I have to ask my manager to open. And I was like, get the fuck. So finally, I just couldn't take it anymore because I was like, three questions. You drop your pants and shit right there. I shit my hand, I threw it right in her fucking dumb face. And I was like, get smarter. No, I, I ran back to the hotel and I shit so fiercely and there was no bidet. And it's so awful to Oof. clean. I had to go straight to shower. Yeah. I had to do shit to shower. And then as a bonus, the the a funny bone in Des Moines, I got I got to shit with the audience. That's fun. They don't have a bathroom all in the, the green clubs, room. <laughs> all the clubs that don't have a bathroom for the comics no. are really cool clubs. God damn it. Well, there's I know. No, you get there and you're like, hey, where's the bathroom? And they're like, right out there. And you're like, I, I'm going to shit with the audience? And they're like, yeah. 
And you're like, okay, just make sure you mark down that I'll never come back, okay? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why it's a, it's, it's okay. Because like I have to, you have to hold your piss in between seatings. Yes. I can't walk out into the lobby. Also, when you're performing, a lot of times, <laughs> like if you're if you're doing a show, you are, you know, like personally, I don't drink alcohol before I per- ever perform, but I do drink a lot of water. It's kind of like the anxiety of performing. So I'll pee five times before <laughs> I go on stage. So it's like every time you got to be like, okay. And you go out and you see the <laughs> audience. You're like, hi. And they're like, oh, hey, we're about to, what are you doing here? You're like, yeah. they don't have a bathroom for me. That's what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the worst. And at one point, and I, I drink coffee before my spots because I'm, you know, up later than I normally am. So I have to take these like rocket shits because I, I bring my own coffee, mm-hmm. uh, the Starbucks instant ones, because, you know, club coffee is terrible. And I, that shit is like white lightning. Like, yeah. I got a shit, man. Yeah. And I took a dump in Des Moines, and of course, audience member right next to me, and I'm doing like the multi wipe cleanup, or like, it's just not getting clean. It's not getting clean. It's not getting clean. And Come I got to go up and perform. Dude, I eat there. It's fucking, do you mind? You know what happened to me in Texas? We went out for sushi after one of the shows. Uh. And uh, so I'm sitting with the two other comics and not the server, but the, the food runner comes out and he puts a plate of like sashimi and a couple pieces of sh- sushi in front of me. What I ordered. And he places it in front of me and I go, uh, oh, can I get um, soy sauce and chopsticks? Because there's nothing. And he just looks at me and it gets to like three, four, <laughs> five and i'm like he goes anything else and i go nope just the stuff you eat sushi with (laughs) and he goes okay and he walks behind me and i was like i look at thank god there's other people there and they're like yeah what was that that?" and he walks over to this table that's over here and just starts busting the tables like a table that people had left and he's like picking up their plates Uh and i was like So I was like, oh, I guess he's not bringing it, right? So I sat there and I was like, that's strange. Then the server comes by, the guy who we took the order with. He goes, how is everything? I go, good, I just, I need uh, (laughs) soy sauce and chopsticks. And he goes, oh, okay, okay. And then he walks next to us over here and he just starts taking the order of the table here of like four or five people. I was (sighs) like, is this for real? Is this happening? Yeah. And then only because it's one of those things that like you go looking at the other people and they were like, what's happening? And I go, <laughs> I, I was going to ask you. And I just watched him take. And then the other guy stays busting the table. He's like, dun, 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 dun. I was like okay. So what happened? Well, what, did 10 you, minutes did, later. You with your hands? No, 10 minutes. I just sat there. I mean, you know, <sighs> you just wait. And then 10 minutes later, the guy came back and he was like, I got something for you. <laughs> I was like, ah, is it chopsticks and soy sauce? <laughs> He's like, yep. I was like, thanks, man. You know, I just think sometimes out of big cities, people don't have the same sense of urgency That's for true. things, and they have a, like you. There's you get just, if you, you allow live in time, L.A., New York, might you get like, used to a certain it. like pace. And like also, just so people know who are listening, I don't mind taking a shit next to somebody, but when I'm performing, performing is different. It's it's what it is. Is like you want that surprise of yes. the first time they see you. You're the you're, you're the headliner, yeah, yeah. so you want that element of, of mystery, surprise. Yeah, you sit excitement. next to people in public all the time. Oh yeah, but it's like, fine. At your show, you don't want to, <laughs> you know. Like it's you're your the show. name on the yeah. on the marquee. Hey, you're taking it. It's like going to see you know Beyonce, yeah. and then she comes to take a shit. Next I gotta to take you a shit. <laughs> the yeah, like. <laughs> to the left, to the left. <laughs> like, wow, you're here. In the bathroom? Well, you get to take a shit next to Beyonce. That's yeah, fun. Right. Like, that's that's all it is. You know, come yeah. on. I take shit next. You're right. I, I shit next to people all the time. Of course. Um, <sighs> this is m- my new favorite lane of video here. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's on the... She, uh, that reaction was like, can I still walk? Like, <laughs> Let me see it again. Yeah. That was fun. Handbrake. <laughs> God damn. And now she's smiling. But she was like, she was like, should I smile? Uh, do I still, can I still move can my still- arms? <laughs> God damn. Oof. 
That was a good crack. Yeah. I'm telling you, I lose myself. Sometimes after shows now, I just sit in my room and I watch chiropractic videos. Can you post them on your stories? The chiropractor videos? Yeah. I watch them on YouTube. Oh, okay. Because I, I would love to see what you're seeing. I think I, I'm starting to like them too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a total, I guess I kind of understand more. Some people love ASMR, you know, and I, I that hate doesn't, ASMR. But I'm saying the effect, the effect of the, the this has like a soothing effect to me for some. You, you, you get them done. Do you like watching them too? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like the, re the way I got into getting adjusted was I went down a YouTube rabbit hole See? Oh. where I saw life changing adjustments and nothing was wrong with my back, but I was like, I want a life changing adjustment. Yeah. yeah. And then I fucked up my back forever and now I need to go there for function. You fucked up your back for not from the chiropractic though. From the first chiropractor <gasps> that I went to. Really? Yeah. Oh, he fucked dear. you up. Um, it was a lady, and she put me on some table that just kept on like decompressing, and she went away for like thirty minutes, and then I went on a flight to Israel for like sixteen hours the next day. I didn't know that you can time that like that. Wow. <gasps> and then she was like, "All right, so why don't you come back tomorrow, and we'll fix the rest of you up." I'm like, "I'm gonna be on a plane for eighteen hours tomorrow." And she's like, "Why the hell did you do this today?" I was like, I didn't know I should. Why can't you do that? I don't understand. Um, if it's your first time getting adjusted, uh, they're just, like, especially with the new chiropractor, they're like, you know, this might take, like, one or two sessions to figure out the problem area. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's like, yeah, come back, and then whatever else is hurting, then we'll take care of the rest of it. And then wow. I was like, I'll see you in, like, four weeks. Oh, wow. And then I found the new one, uh, which I really like, and that's the one that, was, uh, that we did the, the live show segment with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was great. Jeez. But it is weird to watch, like when you watch them, right? Don't because I don't know. It's like sad. You, the other thing is, so they even have co they have compilations of just cracks. Like if you just want to watch crack, crack, crack. But most of the time, <laughs> you watch the session. So there's a build up to the big crack. To the big crack. So you're like watching, and you're like, come on, crack it, come on, <laughs> you know. And they're like, they're like, you know, whatever, like kind of tenderizing the area. Must like breathe. Let your shoulders drop. It's like a whole thing. And then it's like. Quack, quack. And you're like, oh yeah. Now, yeah. do you like getting adjusted? I've only done it a few times. I did like it. I did like it, but I, I it's not a regular part of my routine. I wonder, you, do you like the relief? It does it look like relief? Yeah, it is. Re it is relieving. It's like the build up, and it's like coming, but yeah, it's, it's the come and it's go. It's like your joints are coming all over the place. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's true. Now, um, oh, I wanted neat. to talk to you about something because we're kind of in this springtime, new beginnings. The Lord is risen. Do you feel like we can get you to consider converting to Catholicism and finally get on board with our Lord and Savior? That's a really interesting proposition. I mean, Lord knows I'm not a fan of this J shit. <laughs> and, and I don't know if the C stuff is what I'm into. Mm. But maybe you should go to, you know, just like a, have a one-on-one -on -one with a priest and... And uh, great discuss it. One on one. Is, isn't that what you see is called confession? Well, that's what that's that's what you'll be doing later to kind of cleanse yourself for all the wrong things you've done. <laughs> well, wait but a I mean, Do you place. think you'll have to do a major cleansing because he's been a J this long? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're How gonna, are they going to cleanse the J your, off? Of your you? penance is going to be days and days. But what I mean, what's a penance? You know, your our fathers and your Hail Marys to be forgiven. Oh. You know, oh, it's just saying a poem. Or yeah, whatever? yeah, yeah. I it's like that. it's like a meditative <laughs> thing. You know, I could do that. But I want him to, you know. Just kind of pitch you <laughs> on wh what this sea life's all about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can you guys give me the sure, uh, sure. abridged version? So, like, what, what's what's a normal sea day? Like? I am a fucking Jew. <laughs> well. Well, first of all, do you feel guilty around sex? Like, when you masturbate, do you feel guilty after? Uh, sure, but I mean, I don't think that has anything oh. to do with religion. No, that's that's key, though. That's that means good. that you're already yeah. kind of a natural fit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Ooh>. yeah <laughs> if you deal with guilt on a regular basis, you might be a good C. Oh, see, but I mean, I think a J mothers know how to instill guilt too. Good. I feel like good. I might have gotten it from good. That means they're training you for both teams. Sick. Can you <laughs> sit down for long periods of time? <laughs> Look at me. I got the body of a sitter. <laughs> you can sit. Yeah. You feel guilty? <laughs> Do you like red wine? I actually hate it. Really? Oh. I hate wine. Uh, yeah. That's the blood of the guy. Well, um <laughs> hmm. Wait, what uh, what other booze what other booze can I drink to be a good C? No, just no. wine is and the body of Christ. You don't like red wine? 
Any type? It gives me a headache. It makes me sleepy. Like I go into a hangover like immediately. Like really? Like a sugar. Like a like you're coming off a sugar high. Yeah. Do you like crackers? Like crackers that taste like styrofoam. They're not salty. Do I need to have a whole bag of it? No. No, just one. Oh yeah, I can do a cracker. Okay. What <laughs> right, about you guys eat crackers? Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. It's the body of Christ, duh. Now, do do you guys pray a lot? Do I need to go somewhere to pray? Yeah, I mean, look, you don't have to pray all the time. I mean, if you're a real dedicated C, which you're not gonna be, definitely not. Uh, you know, some C's pray before meals. Um, some pray when they wake up or go to bed, like that kind of like ritual stuff. Mm. You know, pray when you really need help in the world, that kind of thing. Or really need, like, hold on. When I need help or yeah. when the world needs help? Or like when you need a parking spot, you pray to, is it St. Anthony? Yeah, exactly. For parking spaces. That's the saint of parking? Or yeah. lost keys if you lose lost keys. keys. Yeah. And I know you Jays like to put that shit in your doorway. What is that? A mezuzah? Uh, a mezuzah. Mezuzah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take yeah. that yeah. shit down. Yeah, You're going to have to replace them with a crucified Jesus. Do you mind looking at a guy on the cross with bloody hands and feet? I mean, yeah, that's what gets me hard. So I think oh. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Perfect. Wait, but is that a problem? No. Oh, no. sick. <laughs> so what we'll do is I'm going to call. Wait, you guys have stuff in the doorway also? No, just, just crosses everywhere. Crosses oh, in your house? Just everywhere that's not a doorway. Like on wall. It's like a Walls. wall decoration. But, yeah, yeah. But you got to take that mezuzah down. Yeah, the yeah. The one yeah. that exists in your house. That like you can't do both. It's one <laughs> or the other. And uh, cool Virgin Mary, it. don't forget. You know. Oh, the Virgin. Yeah. Vir she was uh, Jesus's mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, I got yeah. it. But uh, she didn't have sex to have him. He would. He was just placed well, in her. And he was just put in there by God. It's called the Immaculate Conception. Right. Do you buy that? But he put he put his D in Mary. Well, no. they don't say that in the Bible specifically, but, but it's, it's an interesting implied. way to. It's yeah. implied. It's implied that the baby was, yeah. Now, you Jays believe that Jesus existed, but that, that he's not the Mashiach. That's, you think the Mashiach is still going to come. That's right. You got to wipe that shit out of your head. Oh, yeah. Jesus isn't even like a main character for us. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. I don't think he's in, in I don't think he's in our books. He's yes, the, he is. He is the Old star Testament. of the show. He is the, the he, star he of the show. He is not Old Testament. Oh, no, he's in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't Yeah, yeah, Jay, yeah that, right. that's some sea shit right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have but to accept he Jesus. he is the new, he's like the rock. He's oh, everywhere. The rock. The <laughs> yeah. So this is like, I need to like, so if you like the original Star Wars, it's like, hey, I hope you like this new, this new shit. So yeah, that's right. I gotta learn a new franchise and stuff. That's yeah. right. That's a new franchise. But it's, it's, fu it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Great. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, Whatever. and you've had premarital sex. He's going to have to atone for that. Well, yeah, you're going to have a lot of sins that you're going to have to confess, but you know it'll be fine. You'll get a clean slate after he tells you what to pray about. How how long am I going to need to be reciting poems for before I'm like back to square one? Well, honestly, he'll probably just be like ten and ten, something like that. It's, it's not, not that, that big. Not that ten big. and ten. Oh, so I could get that done in like a couple of minutes. Oh, yeah, and then he'll be like, "You're a clean slate. If you die right now, you go to heaven." That's how it works for all C stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I could fucking do the worst thing, mm -hmm. and then it's just, say, three and a half poems, and you're good? Yep. <laughs> what about Jays? Can, do you go to hell if you're bad, even if you repent? For Jays, once a year, you say sorry, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you ask the person three times, and if they say no three times, like they don't forgive you three times, it's now on them. So we have Whoa, a we that's have a, cool. That's a good system. We have a really good forgiveness system. Oh, What's like the one that. time a year you ask for forgiveness? Y uh, Yom Kippur. Yip, and yip and yip do you literally hit people up about things you're sorry for on Yom uh, Kippur? I mean, I have some J friends that text me, and like you could tell it's like a like a BCC type text where they just copy and paste it to everyone. They're like, hey, if I did anything throughout the entire year <laughs> that offended you, let me know. Like I'm really sorry. Really? Aww. Yeah. And then you just don't respond to those, and then you just keep on going. Wow. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Now, good news, you get to experience Christmas with trees and presents and things. What does that feel like? That's it's the best. The best. That's the whole point Seriously. of being a C. Yeah. Christmas you, is the shit. It's the I best. hear Christmas mornings is it's like- It's the best. Dude. It's the best. It makes all the other shit that I don't do anyway worth it. Yeah. yeah. You're really missing out. Jays really miss out on Christmas. And Easter's pretty dope, too. Yeah. From what I've heard from my J friends growing cool? up- yeah, yeah, Easter's so much fun. There's candy and you hide stuff. and All my J so friends growing up said that in December, they wish they were more yeah. in the C category. Ooh. But you know what? That's also something that I'm going to miss out on. I mean, granted, I don't take any of those here, but I remember in school, the J holidays is like, hey, 
you could have like most of the fall off. Yeah, we don't do that. Yeah. Wait that's a minute. True. No, but didn't you say in Spain, like the Catholics, like European Catholics take off every other freaking week? They just do festivals and shit. Yeah. All There's the so time. many Catholic holidays. If you really went real Catholic, you'd have a lot of free time. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of downtime. Oh, I'm going. Wait, I'm going Catholic or like Christian? I want the no, I want the no, same one. Ca- we're You're going Catholic, Catholic dude. dude. That's the that's the hardest. Yeah, but you don't yeah. have to go in the fucking sixth gear with it. Just kind of coast along, in neutral. I mean, do you want to go to heaven or it not? It doesn't sound like you could coast along. With yeah, it. What are you, you talking can. about? You're looking we at do. two fucking <laughs> neutral seas right here. Do, you, okay. do I look like a real religious guy to you? Uh, I can't see what emblems on that chain. Nothing. Like, okay, <laughs> then no, then there's not one iota of you know uh, what though. Religion on I it. think at his level, at his age, don't we do a full body baptism? Like they're gonna have to That'd dunk cool. you. Oh. Let's do that. That actually sounds kind of dope. You don't you don't have to like recut my dick or anything, right? No, 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 no. Because <laughs> we do that to you guys if you come to us. What? Yeah, but I'm cut. I'm already cut. Oh no, no, we'd recut you. Recut? No. What do you mean recut? There's nothing to cut. It's like it's a. It would be like a metaphorical like prick. Like they're like we got to draw blood, homie. If you want to join. What? Us. What? Mm-hmm. Wow. You got to really want it, homie. They cut your dick. <laughs> we don't cut your dick. See how much nicer C's are about that damn, stuff. Man, yeah, it's not gonna get hard till I'm ready to come. <laughs> yeah. Let's get Nadav baptized. I think that'd be so funny. It's a fun bit. <laughs> 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 Look at this crazy content we made. <laughs> we converted somebody. We well, took a J out of the world. I had to do my first <laughs> communion when Tom and I got married because yeah. I didn't do my first communion. I know. And I had to do it on a Sunday. At this point, the funny thing is it feels adult. so silly now. It is silly, yeah. I mean, more silly. The ritual. Because the... we're such bad C's. <laughs> we do nothing. I wouldn't say nothing. Okay, Yana, hear me out. We believe in Judeo-Christian ethics but we don't, and morals. Yeah, we're yeah. moral people. We do not. We, But we're not practicing Okay, so seeds. we don't eat fish on Friday. We don't and, ever go to church, ever. Not even on the big days. <laughs> we never go to church. I know, but yeah. we, I And believe, by the way, you couldn't get me to go. I will not go. God damn it, son of a bitch. I will go for us. But, but I'll tell you, though, don't you think we abide by... Morals, Christian values. We are very moral people. I mean, come on. We're not dickheads. We don't uh, do anything dicky. Mm. No, I mean, like we abide by a, a Judeo-Christian we're professional assholes morality. Yeah, but we're good people. I know. In our I'm... private lives, like we don't, we we're very loyal. We uh, we're good people. Okay, but definitely. I, I don't think you got to be a C to do that. I think you can just be. Uh, I think you can be a. De- I think most people are non-religious good people. So should I start going to church church on Sunday? No, don't you fucking start with that shit. <laughs> Could you imagine if you had an extra eighth day of the week, all the stuff you would get done, but you don't. You don't need an extra day. What you really need is Fiverr, your one-stop shop for world-class freelance talent. I tell you, the other day I wanted to, um, a, like a, a thing, a poster designed for my upcoming tour. And I went on Fiverr and you can find freelancers to do the gig for you. Fiverr's global network of on-demand freelance talent is here to help. Whether you're launching your first business, scaling your current business, or in need of extra support. From graphic design, copywriting, marketing, web programming, film editing, scoring, music, and more. Find your talent and begin working on your project within minutes. It's so easy. Customize your search by service, deadline, price, seller reviews, and more. No more guessing games. You'll know exactly what you're paying up front. Check out Fiverr.com and receive 10% off your first order by using my code MOM and all the digital services you need in one place at F-I-V-E-R-R.com code MOM. Again, that's Fiverr.com code MOM. Father Abraham. Had many sons, so, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, oh, no. and so are you. Oh, should I do a Jewish? Evenu shalom aleichem. Evenu shalom aleichem. Is that how it goes? Hey, Fred, you're not from here. Wait, Pennsylvania? Ohio? Go back. <laughs> Asshole. Too bad you don't have insurance. I'm going put that down, too. The assholes are driving newer car in the wreck and get it fixed. You got no fucking insurance, do you? Probably why you got bald tires, too. Asshole. Stupid faggot grin on your face. 
Telling you, man. <laughs> they don't play this in church, and that's a real bummer. <laughs> I've wanted to do this so many times. So know. have I. I. I relate to this. Oh, yeah. I think everybody does. Everybody wants to say this shit yeah. to somebody. Put, Put that sucks. on your Facebook, fuck boy. Think I give <laughs> a fuck? Suck a dick. Fucking asshole. Come back <laughs> to Pennsylvania, bitch. <laughs> not supposed to be at your house. You an essential worker? <laughs> you don't look like it. Fuck <laughs> Fuck boy, he knew fuck boy. He knew everything. Yeah, he knew everything down. Put that on your Facebook, fuck boy. It's, it's a weird funny. place. Like you're like, where are they at a stoplight? It looks like it's a parking lot. You know, like a like a dirt, yeah, or a gravel those, driveway. <laughs> those bushes with the fence next to it. I'm like, I don't understand the context of this, but it's pretty, I enjoyed it. It's pretty good. Yeah, that was fuck really boy. fun. Put that on your Facebook. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> I saw this. This <laughs> made me laugh my ass off. <laughs> He's so scared. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I don't think I share that sensibility. I like the cruelty. I like mental illness. Yeah. I don't like people being in terror. 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 Okay. Did I say that word right? Terror. Yeah. Terror. Terror. There's some words that we both mispronounce. We've learned <laughs> that. There's other words that other people mispronounce that really enrage me. Yeah, what's what's your favorite? Number one, and then I've and I'm hearing it more and more now is people saying especially. You know, people That's are like yeah, especially, and I'm like especially. Ex you mean special. especially? Yeah. Where? Why are you getting X out of it? And it's it's directly correlated to be, people all like so many people say espresso. Well, and you're like, what are you doing? To me, that's even more unforgivable, given that we have a huge coffee culture now. Huge coffee culture, and also it's written everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Espresso. Yeah, it's es. Not espresso. But why do they hear espresso? I think the I think espresso is more, almost more forgivable because so many people are mispronouncing it that I think it's leading to other people mispronouncing it. I see. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. so widely used. Especially, I, I, my fucking, I almost have a fucking seizure every time I, I hear know. it. Uh, oh, especially, like, uh, what? Especially. It's especially. Especially. ESP? Especially. Yeah, I mean, I guess same way, right? ESP is espresso, but people are mis saying it so much. Where are you hearing this? Especially, you, you hear mispronounced, you can stand in line at any coffee shop. Oh, espresso, I, and I hear it. And first yeah. of all, it's written on there, and the person in front of you will say, I'll have an espresso, and the barista will be like, double espresso. Oh, my God. And you're just like, okay. You oh, know, my you God. Fucking moron. And I don't then, like it. But especially, I'm like, hey, dumb fuck. Oh, it's a horrible. It's, People are so stupid. And, and, you know, my dad used to say it all the time when I was a little girl, and I didn't believe him. But he said, everybody is on drugs. Yeah. Or they're fucking stupid. Yeah. And I'm like, the older I get, I'm like, dude, my dad was right. Everybody's fucking stupid or on drugs, man. Yeah. You know what I hear a lot? Mm. Um, the addict. It's in the addict. An At addict? the addict. Yeah, oh. for an addict. Oh, uh, adding the D? Yeah. Addict? Go look in the addict. Like, that's not the, that's not the word. That's all kinds of stupid, for it's sure. All, and I, there's a song I like by uh, Christian Death. It's, it's a goth band. And he says, he says addict, and it makes me crazy, and it's made me crazy since I was 15 years old. I hate it. Addict. Addict. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would stop at that, too. But, I've, but you tell me if I say stuff wrong, right? Like you've been telling me. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't let me say things wrong. Well, I started to, we talked about how your, your ING is all wrong on like every word. What do I say? I go you say think. like something. Something. Yeah, this is Hungarian. This is yeah. a problem. Yeah. Something. Yeah. That's so fucked up. It's a fucked up I'm one. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I yeah. caught myself on Rogan when I, I said I won. I go, one, one. <laughs> yeah, I won. Hey, you saw his new studio. Yeah. It looks great. It's awesome. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's great. He has a cool, really cool setup. Um, Young Jamie's there. Oh, Young it's Jamie. It's fun. It felt like, uh, felt like old times. It was great. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, so, I'm starting to get nervous. It's getting real, this move. I know, but what... Our audience doesn't know is that after we move, you'll still be seeing us here because our studio won't be ready for a minute. You know, there's a, there's a lot of work that goes into, like, and it, and the funny thing is, 
We got the ball rolling <laughs> in November. Especially, yeah. Say especially because we got the ball. Especially rolling. because we got the ball rolling in November. <laughs> we and that's did. That's how they're like, I'm like, hey, how long till the studio? And they're like, well, you know, the lawyers need to look at this document, yeah. and then approval on this thing, and then the permits. And you're like, is it not really going to be ready? And they're like, oh no, no, not till. It was a lot. Plus, with your accident, yeah. I, I think we were like, dude, we're just not going to hurry anything. This year's been so traumatic. Yeah, I think. It just, it was like, you know what? Let's just fucking go. Just whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> we can't, you can't plan everything. You know, you're still recovering. You, you just recovering. Mm-hmm. Did I say it right? Yeah. Not recovering. Recovering. You're still recovering. Yeah. And, you know, we'll, we'll take our time. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take our time. People ask me about you all the time. Really? How, so how are you doing? Will you tell people? How are you feeling? You're physically. And oh, I mean, I physically day? feel amazing. I feel great. Um, yeah, yeah, I just, you know, it's, it's healing still my leg actually, I thought I would struggle more with it and it's basically now, I mean, I I can do 60 minutes on the elliptical without any discomfort or anything. Um, building up the quad back to where it was, they said, think of it as a year project, Mm. you know? So I just got to like put a load on it, like had you know what i mean to build the muscle loads on it. yeah i come all over my leg and then it's a come episode today so that muscle has you know deteriorated quite a bit and then also rotator cuff area delts everything this is much weaker so yesterday pt she gave me like isolated movements just for like building up strength in that air in this area so everything you know but you know the hand it gets a little better it's so all, much every yeah. week it gets better and better and yeah. better it's a weird thing. It's weird. It's weird to feel like, oh, you know, the sliding glass door. You go to do it and you're like, Ugh. It's like, oh, wow, my strength that I just completely took for granted. And I used to lift. I never was like a really strong lifter, but I would lift like fairly heavy weight, you know? And um, yeah, it's like, it's back. It's like completely starting like a child. I mean, I was doing maxing out with 15 pounds in this hand for Mm. for months and i just got clearance to go above it so yeah i mean you just have to start over but it's it's i'm not bummed out about it like it's i have a good attitude i think about it and you know i eat super clean and healthy now and uh i'm working out pretty much six days a week yeah you've been really dedicated yeah very dedicated i know it's crazy when your body like fails you or changes on you like after having kids like my body's not it's not the same you're just never never the same never the same i mean little things this according according to the doctors i should be able to be back completely fine back to where i was over time but just you have to do the work you have to keep working out and everything you know what's so crazy when it happened i didn't think it I didn't even think about this process of rehab. Yeah. I of just course. thought people like broke their arms and then you put it in a cast and then you're fine. I had no idea that you had to go through this well, much rehab. This was like, it wasn't just an arm break, you know, like it was, I mean, it was, but I mean, I broke my humerus. A lot of people break, you know, like their forearms and breaking the humerus completely in half. And then the, that nerve getting kind of bruised and bumped around. So it's a it's a major break. It's considered a trauma injury, and then the nerve is the thing that you go like, like I still have numbness here, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I haven't worn a watch or a ring or anything because everything feels weird on my hand still, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 strange. It's a strange feeling, but I don't know. I um, I've also gotten you get you know we're so adaptable. I've gotten so used to it. Like I've gotten used to the fact that like, oh yeah, this hand doesn't work as well. This arm isn't as strong. You just kind of keep going. You just keep going. I mean, I loved, honestly, like my, my main, it's funny, my one of my main, main concerns getting out of the recovery and, and everything was just, can I still do stand-up? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. That was like really my main concern. Like I was like, will it be to the point that I can stand on stage and do, and do stand-up? Yeah. And now that I've done it a few, few times and feel great, I'm like, oh, okay, like, if I got no better, if this was the best I could ever be, I would be fine. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't be thrilled that this is the best I could be, 
but the fact that I can do my job and I can function in the world, like I can drive, I can, I can hold my kids, probably not two at a time, but like I can still pick them up and, you know, yeah. come all over you. Like as long as those yeah. things are. I was going to say, your first worry wasn't, can I jerk off with my left arm? Well, I knew, I knew that my right hand would, would do, do that. Really? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't worried about that. I thought about it. But I was like, you know, I'm not really a lefty when it comes to that, so it's not a, <laughs> not a big concern. Yeah. Gosh, what a bizarro! I'm still in. Like, I think I, I think I dissociated in December when it happened. Yeah. And I'm still, like, mm, no, everything's fine in terms of your, yeah, getting injured. Because if I really think about how vulnerable we all are and if i lost you i would just be like i think that's why i keep having these recurring dreams that i'm yeah. losing you yeah yeah i think it's more i'm afraid of losing you what would i do jeans oh my god oh, if it had been like a super serious like yeah yeah it would be fucked up i know who I would know. well thank god we have rob eiler he would just right, Sit right one here. of us dies yeah no i would keep that blow up doll there <laughs> for how long just out of respect forever <laughs> Every day I'd be like, hey, I love you, to the doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I'd like, you know, like when in certain countries they pay respect to like the, the paintings and stuff and they leave yeah. gifts, I would put flowers on it. And Your ofrenda. Yeah, offering, yeah. Dia de los muertos. That's right. You would put, you'd put me on your ofrenda? Yeah. That would be cool. It'd be rad. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm glad you're okay. That was horrible. It was. Truly awful. By the way, I see that you painted your nails, which is lovely. Yeah. Um, somebody else <laughs> is not going to be painting their nails the way they used to. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. We've seen this lady before. Yes, we've made fun of her before. Yeah, we have. The world's longest fingernail. She clips them after 29 years. Does it say in the article why this woman did do yes. this? Can you make that larger? For uh, They said for obvious reasons. Like Well, it's, it's been obvious for decades. It's ruining her life. So a little bit bigger, sorry. Scroll back up to the top here, Ugh. let's see. The woman who's been taking care of uh, her keratin for nearly three decades said no, said so long to her world record fingernails, but she needed a power tool to do it. Ayana Williams had been the Guinness world record holder for the longest fingernails on a pair of female hands since 2017 when they merely measured a combined 19 feet she turned in Ugh. her title for a much needed manicure and it's pretty insane to see. Look at those. Oh, I think she wanted to put them in the Guinness Museum. Right. They're going to be in they are in the museum now. Mm -hmm. I think it said that she was just sick of it. Like it's, I can see why. Yeah. I can see why. They're absolutely revolting. Scroll <laughs> a little bit more, please. Scroll down. Uh, Williams went to Dr. Allison Redinger of Trinity Vista Dermatology in Texas earlier this month to get her fingernails sawed off with an electric rotary tool after revealing she'd been growing them for about 29 years. She told the doc she had mixed emotions about my baby's going, but said the time had come because she'd grown tired of them for obvious reasons, we think. Oh, look, and now she has like still quite long fingernails. <laughs> but not nearly as long as they There's were. They were so disgusting. Those nails are still longer than the average woman with long nails. Yeah, you can't, by the way, you, you know? can't stick the, what her hand was behind your ass into a toilet. No, dude. Like even- They never talk about like, how do you wipe your ass? Well, when I had, when I was Tina and I just had those little fakers, I ripped them off after the first 15 minutes because yeah. I'm like, I can't wipe my ass. I can't pull down my pants to go pee. I don't know. I never had long nails like that. Yeah. Ugh. Ew, and you see how gross they grew over? They looked like um like carbuncles, you know? Yeah. So they're they're in uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Orlando. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna do Orlando. I might stop and make a pilgrimage to see these disgusting nails. Okay. But you know how they, they look all cruddy and like crusted over for mm -hmm. twenty nine years? Yeah. Ugh. She can't wipe her ass. You totally can't pick how disgusting. do you pick your nose? Most importantly, can't pick her nose, can't wipe her ass. It'd be a horrible hand job, I'm sure. Horrible, yeah. How is she sexually active? I mean, I do like a little nail action, you know. Yeah. Okay. How did she even do dishes or drive yeah. or? It's a good way out of all those tasks. Yeah. Maybe that's why she did it. How am I supposed to drive? <laughs> I can't. How work. am I supposed to clean these dishes? Yeah. 
How am I supposed to wipe my ass? Yeah, what kind of gig can you have doing yeah. with those nails? All right. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. All right. Right. Just a few talks today, okay? Okay, just a few. You don't want to oversaturate. Yeah, just a couple. Here we go. <laughs> These are all curated by the great Christina P. Thank you. TikTok's queen of content. Here uh -huh. we go. Got it. Pro tip. Save every picture of every girl in her late teens and early 20s that you are sleeping with from now till the end of time. Catalog them by name and make sure you can access these pictures quickly. They will become incredibly useful later in life when the same girls try to return to your rotation in your 30s and 40s and try to make fun of you for sleeping with a younger woman. Having this information at your fingertips you can then bust out a picture of what they used to look like and go, there, this is why I'm sleeping with her. This is what you used to look like. It no longer exists, but I caught it in its fleeting moment of beauty. You gave it to me 10 years ago, and now I'm giving it back to you. Please cherish it forever. Never lose it, and I will catch you in the next lifetime. Jeez. Don't forget to follow, like, <laughs> comment, and Cheers. share. God. Now there's a cool guy. <laughs> He's really fucked up. <laughs> this guy. First of all, you know what registers to me? Is this dude's so hurt. So hurt. He is so fucking hurt. God damn. I know, because I thought it was just going to be, hey, keep naked pictures of the people you bang so that yeah. you know, one day when you're married. Yeah, you yeah, you can jerk off or something. Spank that's bank. What I, yeah, that's what I thought it was, and too. Then he it... was like, and to tell that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's no longer worth your time. Jeez. And what about him, though? He doesn't look great either. Oh, like, really? Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. You fucking cunt. Jeez. Such a dick. You fuck nut. What is the best uh, smelling cologne that I could buy from a store? Let me know. Because I plan on buying some cologne and I want the best smelling one. <laughs> All right. What do you think the best smelling cologne is? I don't know, babe. I don't know. Most women don't like Hey, Pup Spikey here. You walk the path that takes you where you want to go. Because the only one you need to make happy is yourself. Hail <laughs> Satan. Haru. Rough. <laughs> this I thought was neat because not only is he into pup play, he's a satanic pup player who gives life advice. Yeah, it was a good one. I had a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? One of the scariest <laughs> things to see in prison. <laughs> yeah. How did he do that noise? I don't know. Probably his soul that is broken from the horrific conditions that he lives in. Is this a fun talk? I love it. I mean, your injury videos and my mental illness talks. Potato, potato, babe. I get tickled by this stuff. I love it. I could I watch can these all day. I only imagine hey, the horror that is this person's reality. You know your chiropractic videos where yeah. you get relief? Like, yeah. I scroll through TikToks to feel comfortable and happy oh, yeah. inside. It, but this one? <laughs> this didn't freak you out? Yeah, that's the point. I felt weird. I was like, whoa, I've never seen that I mean, before. This looks like a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's He's, a kid in a third world prison. Yeah. Don't go to, pr don't go to jail. It's bad. <laughs> don't go to jail. <laughs> yeah, that, that I like. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That guy is fighting the enemy. <laughs> that's yeah. By the way, what's great is when you see an adult <laughs> doing what literally what your five year old does. <laughs> like your five year old son is like <clears throat> beating the bad guys. And you're like, okay. Yeah, and this guy's 30 sacks. I don't know. Yeah, he's playing Power Rangers in his backyard. Like, yeah, it's not <laughs> that hard what he's doing, too. <laughs> <laughs> he really thinks he coordinated some John Wick shit right there. You're like, you see that shit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I liked uh, it, too. I like the spirit of that one. That was fucking great. Yeah. And it was like a Why, yes. I collect Garfields. Am I ashamed of it? No. Actually, this is the first Garfield I had ever gotten. Got at Christmas from my mom. It was the first thing me and her really bonded over was love of Garfield. So, uh, yeah. A yeah. I know. Okay, well, here's the thing. 
I just like I know we're in an era where we're supposed to support what everybody does all the time and like uh, congratulate them for being weirdos and like I think we should start shaming people a little bit just to put them in line like this is super lame you know he's not gonna get laid showing his Garfield I'm doing it for his own good I don't think that's gonna get through to him you don't think he's gonna understand no, not getting uh, laid n- like if no. I told him dude no one's gonna touch your dick if you show them He's, he'll be like, Garfield. oh, you mean everything will stay the same? <laughs> it's not his priority. It doesn't affect him the same way. You don't think so? Nah. What are, okay, just Garfield? Yeah. An air pressure of just 4.5 PSI is generally sufficient to rupture the human colon. There you go. <sighs> what do you think of that? Didn't know that. Do you like her chest hat? It's very pretty. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. What? God, you're such a stick in the mud. I can't yeah. believe we don't enjoy this as much. This was um a lot of fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. We're going to close on uh, Just Let Me Eat Ya by Flower Socks. Um... <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Flower socks production. Listen, when you come home, baby, you just gotta jump in, jump, jump in the tub with all the bubbles. For all y'all beautiful women, just let me eat you one time. Just let me eat you one, one time. Just let me eat you one time. I guarantee you, you gonna ask me to stay to your house. I'm federal. Just let me eat you one time. Just let me eat you one time. I guarantee you, I'm with you a hundred percent. Hundred percent. You gonna sleep for three days, my baby. I'm telling you, I ain't nothing nice. I'm federal. Once I touch your booty, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make ball. you cry. You gonna sleep for three days, my baby. I'm gonna make you cry, girl. I'm telling you, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make you cry. Ay ay ay. I don't give a damn where you from. I don't give a damn, give a damn. I don't give a damn where you from. I wanna dig in your booty. I don't give a damn where you from. I don't give a damn, give a damn. I don't give a damn where you from. Let me put my tongue in your ass. Y'all miss that ball, huh? Well, guess what? I'm coming at your fat ass. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you got a big booty or a flat booty. Well, guess what? What? I'm coming at that, coming at booty. I'm coming to get that new new. And I want to push your feet too. Ooh, that's some good good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know what's a banana split? Huh? I'm gonna show you. We're gonna use your booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.